Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I'll be showing you that how basically you can embed uh, React JS uh, Twitter API will be embedding uh, Twitter tweets timeline of a particular user. Let me show you here and uh, you will see basically these are follow buttons, tweet button, tweet hashtags but buttons. You can even basically generate or uh, display the profile of a user. So if I basically hit this button follow button you will see this is the follow button and automatically this will redirect them to the profile page of react.js and you will see a follow button right here and here you can follow them directly here so basically you can embed these buttons directly inside your website using this awesome library of react.js which makes use of twitter api inside the background this is a follow button this is a tweet button and if you want to tweet something about this you will see share my website and automatically all this stuff will be pre-written pre for you you need not have to write this your website name all that stuff share my website so you can just uh, automatically do this with the react chess code here so this library make sure that you do that and then there is a, this hashtag button so this hashtag button guys you will basically have uh, various hashtags that you can have whenever you are tweeting something you will you can you can see we are passing these hashtags you can just put a comma just pass multiple hashtags here let's suppose uh, you want multiple hashtags and once again if i re refresh this application so what you will see is that if i once again click the tweet button so now you will see that automatically multiple hashtags will be there you will see that multiple hashtags will be there i think we need to put don't need to put a we just need to put a this one so once again if you refresh this you can see that so these are basically hashtags i think and you can see you can change the sizing of it let's suppose you want smaller buttons you can just put the size property to small and you will see this will become small here so three sizing are available small medium and large so i will be showing you about this library guys this is very good library so the library that i am talking about if you go to npmjs.com you will find out about this library which is called as react dash twitter widgets this is basically the library guys which allows you to embed profile of a user timeline of a user and you can have follow buttons hashtag buttons all that stuff and basically it's a very famous library around about 24,000 weekly downloads are there so very simple command is there npm i react twitter widgets so simply install this and all these widgets are pre-available for you timeline share follow hashtag mention tweet so if you are having your own personal website if you want to embed your twitter you can easily embed your profile let me just show you so now the very first thing you need to do you can go to my blog post where I have given all these source code that I am writing right now inside this video with screenshots. So you can go to the blog post. The link is given in the description of the video. So basically guys, the very first thing we will do, just go to your project and install this Twitter timeline. Sorry, react Twitter widgets, react dash Twitter widgets. So this is basically the name of the library guys so you just need to install this library by invoking this command so after this you just need to say npm start so this will start your application here so now the very first thing we will do guys application has been started so so here you will have our div tag and here basically guys i will first of all show you how to basically show the tweet so of a particular user so basically this is the tweet widgets which is available so if you just write automatically this will be imported from this library visual studio will automatically does this for you and here you need to provide the tweet id guys it takes a tweet id option and this id that you need to provide here so if you open uh, twitter.com and uh, for every tweet out there let's suppose i open this tweet here if i open this tweet so you will basically see this is the tweet id that is associated with every tweet so you just need to copy this tweet id and simply paste it here and uh, if you paste the tweet id guys you will now see inside your 
refresh it this tweet will be displayed here you will see that basically guys it ought, ought also includes the location time date and how many likes are there reply share so if anyone click on this tweet they will be redirected to your profile page where they can view the entire tweet so in this easy way guys you can embed the twitter uh, anyone's tweet using their tweet id that i have shown you this is basically for every tweet is there so basically you can say here you just need to basically get this id here this is basically the id that you need to get so simply copy this and simply paste it you can even embed multiple tweets out there so i will say that So now if you refresh it guys, two tweets will be there, one and two. You can see that basically it is there on the left hand side. Now if you want to center it, basically you can provide some options here. This takes an options uh, object and here you can provide the alignment here. So you can align them in the center position. So if you just do this, I think double curly brackets are required here for the options. So align and you can center it so what it will do guys it will center this to it here you will see that you can even write if you want to display right you can even display it in the right hand side you will see that it is stacking up right here you can see that so here basically you can even uh, also let's suppose you want the sizing of the tweet you can even provide a width as well so let's suppose width 200 so now it will make sure it will shrink this tweet right here guys you will see the width will be 200 you can control this option accordingly you can increase it to 800 so now you can see that all these parameters you can control guys it totally depends upon you how you want to do this so this is basically how you display a particular tweet now I will be showing you guys how you can basically display a timeline. So timeline is also very easy. So simply say timeline. This will be imported right here at the top. And once again guys this expect the username property. So I think it takes the username. If you check my blog post I have given this source code as well. and basically guys one more thing is that you can even change the theme as well let's suppose you don't like the light theme you can even change the dark theme like this so now the theme of the user theme of the tweet will be increased you can see it will change to dark theme you can see that from light theme to dark theme the background color will change to black or this is basically some dark blue color and uh, for this timeline guys uh, let me show you for the timeline we need to have the username so basically uh, it takes a object which basically have data source property so data source and this is an object which takes the profile so here you need to say the profile username of the user and then basically you just need to say screen name source type you here you just need to say sorry this needs to be source type source type so here we just need to say profile we need to get the profile of the user and then inside the screen name you need to get basically paste the id of the twitter user so here we need to say the id of the user here like this so just put a comma here because it's an object here so now if you reload this application guys so what will happen you will see it will take some time and now it will load all the tweets out there you will see that it will load all the tweets out there right inside your this website and if you want to view more you can go to the twitter website you will see it will redirect you to the twitter website so you can just change this username to any username of your choice guys so basically i will change it to let's suppose uh, 
like this so it will take some time and now you can see that you can see it has changed it and all these tweets are there you will see that and here also these options are applied guys so if you want to change the theme you can change it to dark Uh, I think this theme is not working here so now you can see that so basically here you can uh, embed the timeline this is totally up to you so now we have discussed how we can display a particular tweet or timeline and now I will be showing you guys how basically we can display the buttons to share your website so this is the share button it will automatically get imported and here it takes the URL guys whatever URL that you want to share so I will share my website and then basically it takes so now if you just reload this there will be a tweet button which is the light blue color which is a twitter blue color here and if you click this tweet button guys you will see it will re redirect you to the uh, Twitter website and react tab you will see that HTTPS you will see you can change this text here so whatever text you want to say by providing an option property and here you can simply say the text please share my website so if you say please share my website and then once again click it you will see that please share my website you can see that so you can embed this button on your website so that whenever someone clicks it this will show to them this is a share button and similarly guys we have the our follow button as well so if you have the follow button it will automatically get important and here you need to provide basically the username guys so whatever username that you are saying so I will say JavaScript here and simply now if you refresh it click follow and now this basically will show you this is the follow button you can cancel or follow every time when you click it it will show this window to you so this is the basic functionality of the follow button and lastly guys we have the hashtag button as well so this is the hashtag and here basically you can provide uh, the hashtags you can provide I think like an array here uh, javascript php something like this so now if you refresh it I think this will work if you just provide like this hashtag PHP so now you can see PHP is pre-written here you can see that hashtag I don't know why, how, how to provide it uh, multiple hashtags I think there is a way out there you can figure out by yourself all the source code guys is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video